Hello students. In this video we'll discuss how to convert a nonlinear system into polar coordinates. To convert a nonlinear system into polar coordinates, we use the fact that x is r cosine theta and y is r sine theta. We can also use the fact that x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. And the tangent of theta is y over x. Now, let's find the differentials of these functions. So from r squared being equal to x squared plus y squared, I can take the time derivative and conclude that 2r r prime is 2x x prime plus 2y y prime. Canceling the 2 and dividing by r, I can conclude from this relationship that r prime is equal to x x prime plus y y prime over r. We can find a similar relationship for theta. We can use the fact that theta is the tangent inverse of y over x and differentiate this relationship. Theta prime will be the derivative of the inverse tangent which is 1 over 1 plus y over x squared times the derivative of y over x with respect to x. That will be negative y times x prime over x squared plus 1 over 1 plus y over x squared times the derivative of y over x with respect to y. So that will be a y prime over x. And now since there's an x squared in this denominator, I will artificially add an x on the bottom and an x on the top. Now, gathering like terms, I see that our expression will become an x times y prime minus y x prime all divided by x squared plus y squared. Let's see how we can apply this to a particular example. Let's consider, let's consider x prime equals negative y plus x y squared and y prime equals x plus y cubed. I will change this system into polar coordinates. In polar coordinates, I will have r prime equals x times x prime, but x prime will be negative y plus x y squared plus y times y prime, which is x plus y cubed. And this will be all be divided by r. Now, we can look and see that this x negative y and this y x term will cancel out. And then I will have the following terms. I will have x squared y squared plus y to the fourth over r, which I can simplify by factoring out a y squared. So this will be y squared and then x squared plus y squared over r. So this term over here, this x squared plus y squared is r squared. So what I will have is I will have a y squared times r. So this will be r times y squared. Now let's find theta prime. Theta prime will be x times y prime. So this will be an x times y prime. We know that y prime is x plus y cubed minus y times x prime negative y plus x y squared, all divided by 
R squared. So now we can simplify this. Over here, the other terms will cancel. I will have an xy cubed. And over here, I will have an xy cubed with a negative sign. So those terms will cancel. And I will just have x squared plus y squared on top over r squared. x squared plus y squared is r squared. So theta prime is equal to 1. Theta prime is equal to 1, and if we continue to simplify our r prime equation, r prime will be r, and then y is r sine theta, so this is r squared sine squared theta. From this, we see that r prime is always bigger than or equal to 0, because sine squared theta is positive and r cubed is positive since r is the radial variable, which means that if we sketch our phase plane, in polar form. The origin is a critical point, but as time moves on, theta prime is 1, which will tell me that theta of t is t plus a constant theta 0. So theta is getting larger and larger and larger, or winding, and the radial variable is always increasing. So my angular variable will change, and I will spiral away from the origin. So in this case, the origin is an unstable equilibrium. So oftentimes, by converting to polar coordinates, we're able to get some qualitative information about the face plane simply by determining the sign of r prime. Thank you very much.